हेलो गाइस दिस इज सुशांत फ्रॉम योर चैनल दैट इज साई इंजीनियर्स आई होप योर लास्ट मिनट प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग ऑन वेल वी हैव बीन डूइंग अवर रैंडम क्वेश्चन वीडियोस एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर सेवेंथ इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ द रैंडम क्वेश्चन वीडियो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर लास्ट रैंडम वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी ट्राइंग टू कवर अप मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अवर मॉक टेस्ट टू द लिंक टू द मॉक टेस्ट इज शेयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो यू कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट for people who are new to the channel please subscribe to our channel please comment and please share i would like to thank all of you guys who have been commenting and sharing our videos and liking the videos also this has helped us in giving our 100% for you guys for people who are new to the channel we have discussed on different topics of mathematics by revising the chapter and also solving some problems based on it after this videos we are going to share with you the do's and don'ts while attempting the mhct question and also how to manage your time so please stay tuned for that particular video and also after your mhct we are going to share with you how to choose your engineering stream and how to fill in your cap round forms which will be after your mhct result please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button and please share with your friends so that they are also helped with that so let's get going for the first question so the first question is our derivative question wherein we have to find the derivative of this particular term so let us consider the given equation what we are trying to do is we are trying to simplify it by taking the derivative term common to both of the brackets which are given to us and then solving the brackets now we are just opening this up by applying my a minus b the whole square formula so you are getting something like this now in this you are getting 9 cos square plus 9 sin square which if i take the 9 common you will be getting a cos square plus sin square so that's going to be 1 so that's only remaining with 9 then after that i have just taken this and this common that is taking the minus 24 common and taking the 16 common from these two terms so you are having this as cos raised to 6 plus sin raised to 6 we can simplify these two terms as cos square x the whole cube plus sin square x the whole cube so it's becoming the formula for a cube plus b cube which is nothing but which is going to be nothing but my a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square so applying that formula what you can see is this bracket becomes 1 and you have a cos raised to 4x plus sin raised to 4x which you can combine both of them with this so you are getting it as minus 24 and plus 16 for these two brackets now on combining we are getting this as 8 cos raised to 4x plus sin raised to 4x now what we are doing is we are taking the minus 8 also common from here so you'll be getting it as 9 minus 8 of this particular thing now what is this it is going to be your a square plus b square plus 2ab form so that becomes a plus b the whole square again you are getting this as 1 and you will be getting the answer as 0 because inside it's going to be a constant term so that is why your option should be your d option moving to the next question we have if cos of sin theta is equal to sin of cos theta then what is the value of my theta so now what we will try to do is we try to bring this term as my cos so i will be getting this as cos of sin theta equals cos of pi by 2 minus cos theta so we have a cos theta is equal to cos alpha form like now if i consider just the positive term so i'll be getting this as sin theta equals 2n pi plus pi by 2 minus cos theta now if you just divide throughout by root 2 so you'll be getting 1 by root 2 sin theta plus 1 by root 2 cos theta is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 2 divided by 1 by root so that's going to be cos of theta minus pi by 4 will be equal to 4n plus 1 by 2 into pi by root 2 
टू सो नाउ वॉट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व ओवर यर इज नाउ माई थीट दैट इज माई कॉज ऑफ समथिंग इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस एन नाउ माई एन वैल्यू हैज टू बी सच दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर रेशियो शुड बी लेस देन वन और इट शुड बी बिटवीन बेसिकली बिटवीन माइनस वन एंड वन ओनली तो वॉट यू कैन सी ओवर यर इफ यूर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एन एज जीरो यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस वैल्यू विच इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रेटर देन वन so for any value of n you are going to have the value of this particular term which is going to be greater than 1 or basically for no theta value is this going to be satisfied now if we are considering the negative term so in that case my negative term this will be a negative term over here so since that is going to be negative this is going to be negative so this is negative 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 so again if you just check out for the value of n equal 0 you are going to again get this value which is going to be less than minus 1 so that is why again my cos of any term or any theta i am not going to not going to get which is going to be less than minus 1 so for both the cases the theta value is not existing and so that is why my option should be d option moving to the next question we are having equation of a plane of e which contains a line and is perpendicular to this particular plane now what you can do is you know that the line is going to lie in this particular plane so you what you can do is you can just substitute the intersections so for this it's going to be 0 3 and 5 so if you just substitute 0 3 and 5 in each of them you'll be able to eliminate some of the options given to you so we have two contenders that is my c and d now to eliminate one of them i require that the perpendicular that is the plane should be perpendicular to each other so i know that the normal to this particular plane is going to be a 2 7 and minus 3 the normal vector is going to be 2 7 and minus 3 so now i have to just check out which of them is going to be perpendicular so that means basically the dot product of them should be equal to 0 so i can have this normal for this particular plane so that's going to be 9 minus 3 and minus 1 so if i just find the dot product so that's going to be 18 minus 21 plus 3 so you are getting this particular dot product as the value if you go and check for this particular thing it's not going to be valid so you can just check out the option as c moving to the next question we have to determine for what interval is this function going to be increasing or decreasing so let us consider the function given to us so we have f of x equals minus 1 by 3 x cube plus 5 x square plus 12 so taking derivative so my f dash of x is going to be minus x square plus 10x so i can take the minus x common and i'll be getting this as x minus 10 so now what i require is this function that is my derivative is going to be either less than 0 or greater than 0 if it is going to be less than 0 that means it is a decreasing in that interval if it is greater than 0 that means it's going to be increasing in that interval so let us consider the first condition that is increasing so for increasing i require my derivative that is my minus x into x minus 10 should be greater than 0 since there is a minus sign what i can do is i can i can multiply throughout by minus 1 so i'll be getting this as x into x minus 10 is going to be less than 0 so once i have to find the less than 0 part it can be either my x is 0 so it can be done by either taking my x as less than 0 and x minus 10 greater than 0 or it can be my x is greater than 0 and my x minus 10 is going to be less than 0 so now for x less than 0 i can write this as minus infinity less than x less than 0 and for this particular thing it's going to be x which is going to be greater than 0 uh, sorry it's going to be greater than 10 
so what you can see is that this particular thing is contradicting each other that means my in this case it's asking my x to be between 0 and minus infinity and for this it's asking my x to be greater than 10 this is truly not possible so we have to go for this particular thing that means my x is going to be greater than 0 and this is going to be x is less than 10 so I have found the region in which my function is increasing now going for the decreasing part in decreasing part I require my derivative that is minus x into x minus 10 should be less than 0 so multiplying through what again by minus 1 so I'll be getting this as greater than 0 for greater than 0 situation I again have the two conditions that is either x is greater than 0 or x minus 10 is greater than 0 that means x is greater than 0 x is going to be greater than 10 or it can be the other criteria that is my x is less than 0 and x minus 10 is also less than 0 so for this it can be written as x as less than 0 and x is less than 10 So from this what you can see is my x is greater than 0 and x is greater than 10 I have to take only x greater than 10 and from this x is less than 0 x is less than 10 I can take only x less than 10. So if you check out for the option it's going to be your option A. Moving on to the next question we have equation of plane which is passing through this and perpendicular to the join of this. So now what we have is this this particular point is lying on the plane so we can just substitute the values in each equation after substituting you will be getting your a and c as the option which is satisfying that particular condition now since it is told that the plane is going to be perpendicular to the join of these two points what you can do is you can find the directional ratio of it so it's going to be one it's going to be just subtraction of these two so it's going to be 3 minus 2 that is 1 4 minus of minus 1 that is going to be 5 and minus 1 of minus 5 so that's going to be minus 6 so what you can see is that the directional ratio of this particular line is going to be nothing but the normal directional ratio of the plane so from that you can just understand that it's going to be option A for you because the normal is basically the coefficient the directional ratio of the normal is just coefficient of x y z in the plane equation. Moving to the next one a die is thrown 100 times if success is getting an even number then variance of number of success is. So what you have to understand is that this particular problem is from your binomial distribution. For binomial distribution you always require the number n that is going to be 100 in this case and you require your probability of success. So in this case your probability of success is going to be 1 by 2 because it's going to be the success in getting an even number. Now you have to find the variance of the success. Now variance is given by the formula that is going to be. So formula for your variance is nothing but NPQ. So that's going to be 100 into 1 by 4 because my Q is going to be equal to 1 by 2 also. So that's going to be leading me to the value that is 25. So your option should be B. Now moving to the next question we have if my tan 3 theta minus 1 divided by tan 3 theta plus 1 is equal to root 3 then what is the value of my theta now considering that equation what you can do is you can replace your this one as tan pi by 4 so you will be getting this as tan 3 theta minus tan pi by 4 divided by a tan 3 theta into tan pi by 4 plus 1 this is going to be equal to root 3 so this you can apply the value uh, so now you can apply the formula for your tan of a minus b so that's going to be tan 3 theta minus pi by 4 is going to be root 3 value so you can write your root 3 value as tan of pi by 3 so you'll be getting your 3 theta minus pi by 4 as n pi plus pi by 3 so this is going to give you 3 theta is equal to n pi plus pi by 3 
my plus pi by 4 so that's going to be dividing by 3 so that's going to be n pi by 3 plus this is going to be first of all the LCM is going to be 12 and since it is multiplication by 3 so that's going to be 36 and it's going to be 7 pi by 36 so if you check out for that option it's going to be nothing but your option B moving to the next question we have to find angle between these two lines so you have to recollect that the angles of the line so basically this the denominator parts are nothing but the directional ratios for the lines so you have the ratios as 1 1 2 and the other one is 2 minus 1 1 so now you have to take the dot product and divide it by the magnitude of each of them so dot product is going to be 2 minus 1 plus 2 divided by the magnitude so that's going to be root of 1 plus 1 plus 4 and into 4 plus 1 plus 1 so if you just solve it you are going to get this thing as 1 by 2 so basically your cos theta is 1 by 2 so your theta should be having the value that is going to be pi by 3 so that's your option C now going to the next one we have coordinate of you have to find the coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to this particular plane now we, since we are talking about perpendicular which is going to be drawn from the origin so you have to understand that origin is going to lie on that line and the line's directional ratio is going to be nothing but the normal's directional ratio so we have the directional ratio as 2, 3 and minus 4 and the point as 0, 0, 0 that's the origin so now using this particular information we can find the equation of the line so that's going to be x by 2 is equal to y by 3 is equal to z by minus 4 let this thing be equal to lambda so you're getting x as 2 lambda y as 3 lambda and z as minus 4 lambda so what you have to do now is just find the point of intersection that is basically you have to substitute these values in the equation of the plane so that's going to give you lambda equals minus 1 by 29 so substituting the value of lambda in my x y z you are having the x as minus 2 by 29 y as 3 minus 3 by 29 and z as 4 by 29 so that option is going to be nothing but your c option now moving to the next question we have to find general solution of this particular equation which is given to me now what i can do is let us consider the equation that is my sine cube x into cos x minus sin x into cos cube x equals 1 by 4 now let us take the sin x and cos x common so you have a sin sorry it's going to be sin theta and cos theta common so you'll be having this as sin square theta minus cos square theta which is given as 1 by 4 this particular equation becomes my formula for a minus of cos 2 theta so that's going to be a minus of cos 2 theta equals 1 by 4 and this formula I can write it as my sine 2 theta by 2 because you have to just divide by 2 so that's going to be 2 sine theta cos theta so that's sine 2 theta so now what you can see is you are having a sine 2 theta cos 2 theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 if you again multiply and divide by 2 this becomes a 2 sine 2 theta cos 2 theta that is going to be nothing but sine 4 theta which is going to be nothing but minus 1 so you are getting sine 4 theta as minus 1 so that's going to be sine of 4 theta equals so your theta is going to be equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to n into alpha so that's going to be minus pi by 2 so your theta is going to be n pi by 4 plus or basically minus minus 1 raised to n pi by 2 or pi by 8 so we just look out for the option that is not going to be present because there is no minus sign which is present in any of them what you can do is you can take the minus one inside and make this plus 
and since you are taking the minus 1 inside so it is going to be plus 1 to it so you can see that your option is going to be nothing but C option